Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I have another declutter for you but this is not a perfume declutter. This is a declutter of everything else in my bedroom. I've just been feeling really overwhelmed like I'm having too much stuff. I have a lot of clothes that I don't wear. I have shoes that I don't wear and I just really needed to go through and do a good declutter. And some of you are here for the perfume stuff but some of you are also here for the lifestyle and the minimalism and the home decor kind of stuff. So I love watching declutter videos. I hope that you guys do too. And if you haven't subscribed already definitely head on down and hit the subscribe button and also if you are interested in anything that you see in this video I will be posting pretty much everything that is in good condition or sellable on Poshmark so I will have that link in the description box as well come and follow me over there and without further ado let's get started okay guys so welcome back to my bedroom <laughs> true to Canadian um, weather and this time of year we have no natural light left even though it is really really early so I am working with my salt lamp the light on the ceiling as well as my little LED birch light but hopefully this is enough lighting for you guys and as you can tell from the title this is going to be a decluttering video I really need to go through and declutter a few things so this isn't going to be perfume related um, but I have clothing I have shoes I have decorative items and pretty much just anything else I can think of that I'm either no longer using or maybe I don't like as much as I did when I first bought it I really need to just be honest with myself because I know I have a couple pairs of shoes in there that can go that I'm just not wearing and I'm wondering if there's going to be anything clothing wise that I can get rid of as well. I did also just order um, a couple new pairs of workout clothing um, and I also ordered another pair of shoes for work so yeah I really need to go through and just make room and also if you guys didn't know I am on Poshmark now. So if you guys are interested in anything that you see in today's video, definitely go and check out my Poshmark. And yeah, with that in mind, I'm just going to get started decluttering. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to declutter, you guys, are these two photos sitting here. Some of you will recognize that one from my old place where I used to live. It was actually the very first piece of wall decor I ever purchased. And as most of you guys know, I don't have a lot of wall decor because I don't like a lot of clutter. And it's a really nice picture. It's just got like some designer book names on it and a pair of heels and I think it's really cute I just don't really have a place in my bedroom that I want to put it and I just don't like having a lot of stuff on my walls and then also this homemade Chanel photo um, I'm going to declutter that as well and I'll probably just donate these ones because I think they'll be pretty cumbersome to try to mail and ship off to people I do have these two pictures on my walls and I really like these two and I mean really I could take them or leave them I don't necessarily have to have um, photos on my wall but those are the two that I kind of prefer so I just want to get rid of some stuff I need to just be really thorough and really like cutthroat and get rid of anything that I'm not using so coming to my nightstand I actually have a couple of new books um, that I'm going to be sharing with you guys when I do either November favorites or something later on this month but I'm really really excited to read those books it's been a while since I've had any books in my collection um, yeah, so I have a couple of books and I have a couple more on the way. I just decided it was time to spend a little bit more time focusing on um, my mental health and my well-being and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll be saving those for another day. But coming to my nightstand, remember I told you guys it was a really big mess and it still isn't very organized. It still is kind of a mess. This is how I have it organized, which isn't great. To the left, I have my Apple Watch and my replacement strap, and I have all of my work stuff, which includes numerous amounts of pens. If you work in healthcare, you will understand how you come home with like every pen in the building, unfortunately. I also have my name tag. I have some lip balm, my nursing scissors, my pen light, um, and then over here I have a notebook, a photo of my daughter, and my Lily Silk sleep mask that I love and I use almost every single night. And then I have just like some spare odds and ends, which is um, extra cords, a pair of Apple um, AirPods, which these ones no longer work. They're super, super old and one of the earbuds stopped working. We can declutter that because I already have a new pair of AirPods and I'm not using those ones. And then I also have Vicks VapoRub. You guys, this stuff is the best thing in the world, especially if you're sick. Anyways, I keep that there this time of year for colds and all of that kind of stuff. So the thing that I think I'm going to declutter from this drawer is my Apple Watch because, and I think this is a Series 2 or a Generation, is it Generation 2 or it's a 1? Oh, it's a Series it's a series one so it is kind of old um, it's the gold it's got the gold case and the really beautiful gray strap and then I also have the pink sand replacement strap and the reason I'm going to declutter that is because 
I am far too lazy to charge a watch at the end of the night. I already have to charge so many things. I have to charge my camera, like for the one I'm using right now, I have to charge my phone, I have to charge my laptop, and those are things that I actually have to charge. The worst thing in the world is when you're at work and you have to take somebody's vital signs and your watch is dead. Like, that does not fly. So I actually just have this super, super cheap Walmart, inexpensive, um, watch that was like $20. The battery never ever dies. It lights up at night. It's got military time. It's ugly as heck. Like this is the ugliest watch in the world. But when I'm at work, I'm all about functionality. I'm not too concerned about how pretty my watch is. This is the one I use for work currently. I might switch that out at some point. So we're going to use that one because form and functionality are very important. And we're going to declutter the Apple watch, which means I can also get rid of the charger cord for the Apple watch as well. So there we have it, a couple of Apple products. And then everything else in here can stay. Um, this notebook I'm actually gonna be using as soon as my one in the kitchen is um, runs out. And it's always good to have a couple spare charging cords lying around because those tend to grow legs and go missing. So that's it for that drawer. So coming over to my dresser, in the top drawers I just have bras and like nice underwear. Over here I have comfy underwear and compression socks that I wear to work as well as just like normal everyday socks. Down there I have my pajamas and that has been culled already numerous times so that one's actually pretty good. Down there I have just some perfume boxes that I keep just in case I end up needing them again. And I also have hair extensions, um, bathing suits. I think that's about it. So those drawers are good. The drawer that I really need to go through is this one here. And I apologize in advance because it is extremely messy. Ta-da! <laughs> my workout drawer. This is where all of my workout clothing are. And I have stuff in here that I never wear. I'm also very lazy sometimes. I don't always fold everything before I put it back. Like I got back from the gym today and I just threw my workout pants in here and I threw my top in here because I worked a night shift last night and I was tired and yeah, sometimes I just can't be bothered <laughs> to fold my clothes. So anyways, I have a lot of clothes in here that I don't wear. So what I'm gonna do is just pull them out onto the bed and I'm gonna make two piles, one pile of stuff I do wear, one pile of stuff I don't wear. I'm gonna be very honest with myself and we're gonna see what we can get rid of. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've pulled everything out of that drawer. And for the sake of making this easier for you guys to see what I'm gonna be decluttering and what I'm gonna be keeping, I did fold everything or lay it out flat. And this also helps me put it into perspective because there's a lot of stuff sitting here that I don't ever wear. So I'm gonna do the easy thing, which I think is just to go through and grab the stuff that I know I do wear and make a pile of it. So here we have a really cute crop top with a bow in the middle. That is from uh, Lululemon, I love that, and I do wear it sometimes, not super often, but I wear it enough to keep it. So I'm gonna put this in the keep pile. I do have three or four pairs of Lululemon pants, and I love Lululemons. They are so comfortable, they're so flattering, you can wear them all the time, even if you're bloated, even if you're feeling out of shape, they just are always flattering and comfortable. And yeah, so these are um, must-haves. And I pretty much keep them until they wear completely out, which doesn't happen very often because they are such good quality. So I will be keeping all of my black Lululemon pants. I also have a pair of shorts from Lululemon. And these have a really cute little um, mesh with the little crisscrosses on the side. And actually, I do wear these sometimes. I think they're really cute. I like them in the summertime. Here we have some two-piece outfits, which is basically a bra and pants. And these ones here are from Aloe Yoga. And we have snakeskin bra and matching high-waisted leggings. These ones, even though they were quite expensive and I really like the look of them and I like, I don't really like how I feel when I wear them. I don't find them to be super flattering um, on me. I think because I'm quite curvy, I have like, a um, little bit thicker like bottom and thighs so for some reason they just don't flatter me I think they would flatter more of like a skinnier girl like not skinnier but someone who's not built with like you know curves very much so anyways I'm going to be um, selling these on Poshmark then we have two more here that are similar these ones are from aloe yoga as well and they are just like a really super soft um, 
material. I actually already have these on Like to Know It because I love them so much, so I've promoted them to you guys already. Um, and I actually really, really like this top and bottom. I think it's very cute, very flattering. It's also a nice, like, earthy neutral color, so it's not too in your face. So this I'm going to keep because I do like this. I still might part ways with it at some point, but for now, I really, really like it. And then I have this kind of goldy, golden yellow set from, uh, I think, Astoria. And I really like Astoria. These ones are really flattering, but the way the bum is, it's a, it's one of those scrunch butt ones, and it really has to be the right day for me to feel comfortable wearing these in public. I have to be feeling very fit and very ballsy to wear this because it is kind of out there and in your face, and it really does accentuate like everything. So I'm gonna keep this for now, even though I haven't worn it. <laughs> I am gonna keep it because I think that I still will put it to use eventually, and if I haven't worn it in the next six months to a year, then I'll declutter that one. Coming over here, we have a couple of bras from Lululemon. This one needs to be washed because it does have a deodorant mark on it, um, but this is just a tan colored bra from Lululemon, which to be honest, I haven't worn in months and months and months, so I'm going to declutter this one because there's just no point in holding on to it if I don't wear it. And then I have this one, which is like Arctic something. I can't remember the name of it, but I actually do wear this one. This is my only other like sports bra that I have for the gym that isn't part of a set. So I'll definitely be keeping this one because I will need it. And then we have a green Puma t-shirt. And actually this one should honestly be for wearing to bed or coloring my hair or something because I never wear it to the gym. Um, so I think I'm actually going to put this one in my pajama drawer. Last but not least, oh no, sorry, second last, we have a tank top with a built-in bra, and this is from Diodora, and I love this top, you guys, but it has seen its final day. It has holes in it, it looks absolutely terrible, I've also hemmed it myself, um, so it just is like... It's just not in good condition anymore. I love it, it's very flattering, but I have to let it go because I just don't feel good when I wear it. It makes me feel very like ratchet and just not good. And I did just order a couple of new things from Poshmark, a couple of new t-shirts and tank tops. So hopefully one of those will replace this one, but this one honestly just has to go in the garbage because it's just in such poor condition. And lastly, we have my long sleeve t-shirt that I wear all the time just for like running errands and just to the gym if it's like a colder day and I just need something a little bit warmer, long sleeve. I love this. It is pilling a little bit. It's not in the best shape, but it's so comfortable and it's my favorite white t-shirt. So this one I am definitely keeping. So a couple of other items that were actually um, in a donation bin already, but I thought I would pull them out to show you guys because these are things I have actually decided to declutter that I just haven't shared before. So this is a really cute mint green um, cropped sweater. I have literally never worn it. It is brand new and I just never wear it, so there's no point in holding on to it. So I'm definitely going to be getting rid of that one. I also have this super cute ruffly shirt. It's adorable, it is in perfect condition. Again, I have never worn it. It's got these super cute little pom-poms up at the collar, and it's got ruffles, and yeah, extra small. Absolutely love it, but I don't like how I feel when I wear it, and so as a result, I don't wear it. So this one, I'm definitely gonna be getting rid of as well. And I also have this brown jumpsuit from Winners. It's actually a lot cuter on than it looks sitting there. It's kind of a weird, like, a weird brown color. It's showing up very orange on camera, but it's actually, um, like a medium brown and it has a zipper and it's actually quite flattering and quite cute. I just, I haven't worn it in about a year, so I don't think that I will end up reaching for it. So I'm just going to give that to a new home. And then I have two pairs of shoes. So these ones are a pink nude. I think they're about a two and a half inch heel. They are from Lifestride. They're extremely comfortable. I got these from Winners. The reason I'm decluttering them is because I have other pointy toe high heels and high heels in general that I wear a lot more often. These are brand new. They're in excellent condition. Um, yeah, size eight, I think. And these ones just have to go because I just never wear them. And these boots here, these are from, I believe, Carl Lagerfeld. Yes. I don't know if you can see that. These are a super cute, um, I don't even know if this is real fur or if it's faux. I honestly don't even know, but they are absolutely adorable and I just, I just don't wear them enough. So they need to go to a new home. And these were actually quite expensive. I got them from the Bay. They have a really gorgeous four inch heel on them. They're in perfect condition and yeah, just don't wear them. So those are gonna go as well. 
So obviously my closet looks a little bit cluttered and I think that's because of all the perfumes that are sitting there. Ideally I would like to have um, like a really nice case or something like with glass shelves and ideally I would like to also cull down my perfumes a little bit and only have my absolute, absolute favorite ones there. So I think that kind of contributes to making it look a little bit cluttered. So yeah, I think otherwise it would look much nicer. So when it comes to handbags, this for me is honestly too many handbags, but I'm not going to declutter any handbags today because I've had a lot of them gifted to me, especially from my boyfriend, and some of them I haven't even had a chance to wear because I was gonna go on vacation. We ended up not going on vacation this year because of COVID. So some of them I wear all the time, like my Louis Vuitton Neverfulls, I wear those all the time. That little um, straw one, I have worn so much during the summer. My Ted Baker one, I wear quite a bit. Um, my Teddy Blake, I've had a few opportunities to wear that one and my red Tory Burch I haven't worn that one in quite a while so if I was to declutter one it will probably eventually be the red Tory Burch because I just don't wear that one enough but for now I'm going to keep it because it's still fairly new to my collection and then I have these two handbags here and I actually love the this crossbody from Tory Burch it's so cute and so classy this one I also like this one was a gift um, it's a Henry Bendel but it's very, very small. There's not even enough room to put my cell phone. Like my cell phone literally does not fit in here. So this is very much um, like a statement bag, very much not functional at all. So I only would ever wear this for an accessory kind of, which is a shame. So I don't know, we're gonna have to see about this one because I haven't worn it since I got it. And for now, I'm not gonna get rid of it because it was a gift and I do really like it. So when it comes to my shoes, I'm basically just gonna go through and be really honest with myself and kind of decide which ones I wear, which ones I don't. These ones here, I'm gonna declutter. These ones I actually got from spring, not very long ago, sometime during like early spring. I got them from spring, early in spring, and I don't wear them. Like I really like the concept, I like the way they look, I actually got a really good deal on them, but I just never ever wear them. I'm much more of like a nude ballet flat kind of girl, and I'm just not gonna reach for them. So those ones I'm gonna declutter. The other pair here that I see that I can declutter is this pair from Vince Camuto. And I got these ones from Nordstrom and I actually really, really liked the way they looked when I purchased them. They're like a beautiful light baby blue color, almost a little bit gray. They're so pretty, but I do not wear these. Well, I don't wear any shoes right now because I don't go anywhere, but I never like, I don't have a desire to wear these ones. And I don't know, I think I just don't like them as much in person on my foot as I did when I ordered them. So yeah, these ones are gonna go. So I just kind of took and rearranged everything. I pulled some of the shoes from the bottom and put them in the top and I put them from most worn to least worn. And there's probably a couple that can go in the future. Like these ones here were my clinical shoe slash like office shoe. And I don't know, if I ever get an office job, I'll need office shoes. Um, so for now, those are gonna stay. And these ones are super cute. I don't get an opportunity to wear them very often, but they're so, out there and so bright and I just love them. They're some Steve Madden loafers and they're suede and I really like them even though I don't wear them very often. I do love a pop of red as you guys know. And yeah, then I just have like my nude shoes on the top and then my black pointy toes and my black sandals. And those ones are like probably my most worn shoes. So this looks a lot better and I did free up a couple of slots on the bottom. So when it comes to the shoes on this side, unfortunately I think most of these are shoes that I do wear. Um, these ones I absolutely love. These are like a Chanel inspired cap toe block heel, super cute. These ones I've had forever. You can tell they're like super dirty. Um, these are just a pair of Michael Kors ballet flats in like a snakeskin type of a print and I really, really like them. They're very comfortable, they look really cute cute just for like casual daily wear. So I'm gonna keep those ones for now. Also, my Sam Edelman flats, I love these. I think these are so cute. So those are gonna be staying. My Kate Spade ones, we're gonna keep those. Those are super cute as well. My Louboutins are gonna stay, obviously. And my faux Valentino Rocksteads. These ones, I'm sort of at odds with because I don't get an opportunity to wear them very often, but I do really like them. And until I get a real pair of Rocksteads, I'm just gonna keep those. And on the bottom, my Michael Kors um, T-strap sandals. I actually wear these all the time. They have gotten so much use. If these shoes could talk, 
oh, the stories they could tell. So we're gonna keep those ones. And we have these ones that I haven't had a chance to wear yet, but that was because I got them for a vacation and haven't gone on a vacation. So I can't really declutter those ones even though I never wear them. And then these ones on the bottom here, um, I actually do wear these a lot during the summer and they're my only like kind of not too high but still classy looking sandal so I'm gonna keep these for now as well so yeah unfortunately nothing in the shelf is gonna go probably the next pair of shoes that I do get rid of will be the Michael Kors ones um, just for the simple fact that they are wearing out and eventually they will have to go but yeah, I actually do wear everything that's on that shelf. So you guys, I did recently go through my closet and pull out a couple of things that I didn't think I was gonna keep anymore that I could get rid of. Um, but I'm just gonna go through one more time really quickly and make sure that I don't have any duplicates of anything or anything that I can't see myself wearing. Okay, so I can't promise that I'm gonna have much to get rid of in here, but let's just start and quickly go through. So most of these pants are um, gonna be keepers. These ones are brand new, I'm gonna keep them. These ones, cute little um, pink and white pants stripe I'm gonna be keeping them these ones are my only white pair of jeans and I only believe in having one color like one of each color of jean so the white ones we're gonna keep these ones I'm kind of on the fence about because they're very comfortable they're like a white cream sort of a jigging um, but I don't know they they're not like the most expensive fabric but I do like the way they look so for now I'm gonna keep them and if I haven't worn them in a year I will get rid of those ones these ones are a wide leg, high-waisted trouser, and I actually really like them. And if I ever have an office job, I will wear these all the time. So I'm definitely gonna keep them. We also have just a basic pair of taupe trousers or pants, I'm gonna keep those for sure. We have my favorite, favorite pants in the whole wide world, which believe it or not, you guys are actually from Walmart. <laughs> I've had these for like five years and I just love the print. They're so flattering and they go with literally everything in my wardrobe and they're my favorite pair of pants. They are starting to wear down, but for now we're keeping them. So keep those. These ones are a pair of high-waisted, what do you call them? Like paper bag type of trouser. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna wear them very often. I don't feel very good when I do wear them and every time I look at them, I just feel guilty that they're sitting here and they're really not that flattering on me. So you know what? Let's just get rid of them. It'll make me feel better. It'll just make me feel better if I get rid of them. Next, we have my only pair of black jeans that are like truly a black jean, a high-waisted black jean. I love them. We're gonna be keeping them. Then we have two pairs of blue jeans and I don't wear blue jeans very often you guys I'm just not much of a blue jean girl I always thought there was something wrong with me but I actually watched a video the other day and I can't remember which youtuber it was but she was saying how she does not feel comfortable in jeans they just don't suit her they are not like her personality type and I totally get it so the only pair of jeans I really feel good in that actually flatter me and I like that are blue are these ones from Sam Edelman and they're kind of like almost like the cigarette style like skinny um, high-waisted jean and I also like a lighter wash because to me it's light enough that it can almost be like a pant and so anyways I love these ones and these ones I don't love so much I don't know what it is they just don't flatter my physique as well and they make me feel like I'm going out to milk the cows and whatever so I'm gonna get rid of these ones it'll just make me feel better if I don't have them because looking at them in my closet all the time and not wearing them is not helpful now we come to my shirts and I pretty much am gonna keep all my shirts because I did recently go through here and decide if there was any that I don't wear. So yeah, I love, I love most of them. Haven't even had a chance to wear half of them because of COVID. I literally don't have a life, you guys. I don't do anything. I just go to work, I go to the gym, I come home. This is really cute. I got this from Winners. I don't know why, but I picture myself pushing a stroller <laughs> in the summertime. So for me, I'm picturing like newborn baby stroller. This is so, so silly. And it's way far in the future, you know, if that even happens. That one I really like, haven't had much of an opportunity to wear it. Yeah, keeping, 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 keeping. This shirt is really good for if I ever have an office job. It's a really nice kind of a pleated, um, white top from Calvin Klein. The only issue with this one is it has really bad memories because I wore this when I was in nursing school. So this just makes me feel like I'm going to clinical, which is not a good vibe. But I'm gonna keep it for now because if I ever have an office job, I'll probably wear that to the office. So again, it's one of those things that kind of shouldn't keep, but I'm keeping it. This one I also like, this one kind of I'm on the verge of getting rid of because 
it is a little bit on the short side and it sometimes doesn't hit at quite the right spot depending on what pair of pants I'm wearing, but it is a really cute shirt. So I'm gonna keep that one for now. And we have a cute sweater, keeping, keeping, keeping. This thing here with the fur on the collar is one of those like cape slash poncho things. I'm not sure what you call it. It's got like the little holes on the slide for, on the side for your arm to go through. It's super cute and I've seen a lot of people wearing them but I haven't had the urge to wear it since I purchased it and I've had it for about two months and I figured I would wear it for like fall and I literally have not worn it yet. I either kind of go like without a jacket or I go with a winter jacket. So I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I really liked it when I tried it on, but I really don't know. I'm gonna put it on the bed for now and maybe I'll try it on again tomorrow and if I don't like how it looks on, then I'll get rid of it. Cause I don't know, tell me what you guys think. But I think it's really cute. It just like, does up at the top and I think they're really stylish. I just don't know if it's me. So now we have a really cute, um, I think it's called a caftan. It's this beautiful rose thing that you throw over your shoulders and it has these little fringes on the bottom and I love it. It's so stylish and so pretty and it keeps you warm and it's totally me. So yeah, definitely keeping that. And behind that we have a pink long cardigan. We'll keep that for sure. Again, this would be amazing if I actually had an office job. And then we have this sweater dress, this long like sweater dress. It's actually quite flattering. Um, I have a tendency not to wear sweater dresses, but I actually did really like it when I tried it on. And because it is that time of year, yeah, we'll keep it. And then I have all my dresses and I'm pretty sure there's nothing in my dresses that I can get rid of, but let's just take a quick look. So we have all of my skirts which I'm definitely gonna be keeping. These are all like super cute pleated skirts and I love them, so we're gonna be keeping those. This top we're gonna be keeping, my super elegant dress, keeping, keeping my Marilyn Monroe dress that makes me feel like Marilyn Monroe when I wear it, we're gonna keep that one. Um, we have a really cute, comfortable jumpsuit thing that I love to wear when I'm on vacation, when I'm going sightseeing, keeping that. Also another pinstripe one from Topshop, super cute, keeping that one. Really nice dress from uh, La Vie, what is this, Rebecca Taylor, I think. We're gonna keep that one, it's really pretty. We have our gorgeous pleated Ted Baker dress. We're gonna keep that one. I have my big, long mango dress that makes me feel like a daffodil. We're gonna keep that one. Super cute, flirtatious, little frilly dress from Buffalo, I believe. We're gonna keep that one, super cute. Then I have one of my favorite dresses. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this all the time. This is gold and green and pink and white, and it's got stripes, and it's just super cute. I absolutely love this for the summertime. This is probably my most worn summer dress, so we're gonna keep that one for sure. I have a really cute Tommy Hilfiger, kind of a t-shirt style dress, but it's like a little bit more expensive material. I love this. This one, I'm kind of on the fence about. This one is a long maxi dress. It is red with little white stars on it. And um, it's showing up a lot brighter on camera than what it is, but it's okay. It's okay. I have worn it twice and I did enjoy, I did enjoy when I wore it. So you know what, for now we're gonna keep it. This super cute one, also, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this a lot. I love this dress. It's just a very casual, like, blue pinstripe dress. We'll keep that one. This is one of my favorite new dresses. This is a, I don't know if it's crushed velvet or just velvet, and it has green glitter, and it's got, like, a V-neck and a faux wrap and spaghetti strap. And, yeah, this dress has a really high side slit. I will try to insert a picture for you guys. I absolutely love it. It is so sexy. It would be so perfect for, like, a holiday party if I ever could go to a holiday party. <laughs> so I'm going to be keeping that one for sure. We have this super cute kind of basic, like, formal looking one from Tommy Hilfiger, which I like. This one I love. This is from Vince Camuto. One of my favorite, favorite dresses. We'll keep that one. We have a flowy white one, which we're gonna keep. We have a really cute leopard print jumpsuit, which we're gonna keep. This one here, I'm not too sure about. This is um, a really nice kind of a frilly, flowy summer dress, but the only issue with it is it's very big, it's very bulky, kind of, and it, om it almost like overwhelms me. When I wear this, you guys, it's honestly more of a hassle than anything, so I can never decide if I wanna keep the sleeves up or put them down. I can never decide how high or low I wanna have. This thing tied, it just like, 
I don't feel great when I wear it. It's too much work. So I'm actually going to declutter this one. Yeah, there will be a lot more opportunities to get summer dresses. Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack are always coming out with beautiful, adorable summer dresses. So it's just best not to hold on to things that don't feel 100%, right? You want your closet to be filled with things that make you feel incredible. Next, we have this emerald green jumpsuit. It's actually very flattering. The only issue is that when I ordered it, it was a little bit too long and I had it shortened at the seamstress and she made it a little too short. So yeah, and so now when I wear it with high heels, you can see the bottom of my high heel, which I don't like. I prefer to have like the silhouette that makes me look like I have longer legs, which means you don't want your shoe to really be showing. So I really like it, but now that it's shortened, I don't know if I can wear it. So I need to give it another shot though. So I'm gonna try it on again in the future. And if I just can't bring myself to wear it, then I will let it go. And here we have, I love this dress. This is so cute. This is from uh, Abound. Yeah, and this is just a really long, flowy, pretty, like floral print, light summer dress. Just casual, comfortable. We also have another maxi dress that I really like. It's brand new. Haven't had a chance to wear it, so we're going to keep that one. This one here, I'm definitely on the fence about. This is from Guess, and it looked amazing in its prime when I first got it. And now when I put it on, I feel like it looks a little bit cheap and it doesn't fit me as well as it used to. It's just sort of like, I think the garment itself has kind of lost some of its shape. And I think I'm actually gonna declutter that one. So now we have a halter dress that's in a bit of an A-line. It kind of cinches in at the waist. And this is actually like a burnt orange color. It's a little bit orangey red. And this one's okay. It doesn't make me feel like a million bucks when I wear it. I don't mind it, but it definitely doesn't make me feel like a million bucks. But for now, I'm gonna keep it because I don't have anything else similar to replace it with. Then I have this dress here, and this is a brown, sort of like a paisley print floral dress. And this one has a faux wrap. It's got a crew neckline. I actually like the silhouette of this, but I never ever wear it. Um, and I think I can do better. I honestly just think I can do better. It, I like it, but yet I don't feel great when I wear it. So you know what? I'm actually going to declutter this one. Now we have a couple of satin dresses that I've recently had um, altered so that they fit me perfectly. And of course, I haven't had a chance to wear them, but I love satin dresses. I think that satin dresses are a staple in every woman's wardrobe because they're so classy. Then I have this one from Sam Edelman. This is a pleated gray maxi dress. I love this so much. Actually, this is an asymmetrical hem, not a maxi. But this is so elegant and so flattering and so pretty and it comes with the little tie with the little pearl on the bottom I just absolutely love it so we're gonna keep that one this is like an argyle print and it's just white and black but from far away it looks great it's got a really cute crew neck it's got the little um, almost like a cap sleeve but it's a short sleeve it's very flattering it's really cute um, I've only worn this once so I'm gonna keep that one then we have this striped frilly kind of a flowy dress from Kendall and Kylie I haven't given it enough opportunity to really wear it yet so i'm going to keep that one for now as well and then we have this adorable maxi dress it's called the santorini dress and it's just a really um like fitted in like the bodice area and fitted around the bust i'll just insert a photo for you guys because it's very difficult to explain but it's really really cute one of my favorite favorite maxi dresses so i'll keep that then we have my Vava Voom red dress from uh, Nordstrom and I love this and I have never had a chance to wear it yet. So we're definitely gonna be keeping that one. And then we have the most colorful dress in my entire wardrobe, which is from Maggie London. I love this. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this before. One of my favorite, we're gonna be keeping that one. And we have another um, kind of a sweetheart neckline red cocktail dress, which I love. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping that. And then I have this super cute, like a little bit more formal um, black and white dress from Ralph Lauren. So we're gonna be keeping that one as well. So this is what it looks like now after I've removed a couple of those items. And I do think it looks a lot nicer and neater and more streamlined. And I also like it so much more when everything that I see in my closet is something that I actually wear and makes me feel good and gets use out of it rather than just sitting there taking up space and collecting dust. And yeah, the handbag situation is a little bit cluttered for me, but like I said, I am working on it. I'm gonna have to make some decisions in the future. So that's about as good as it's gonna get for now. I'm quite happy overall with um, the stuff that I did remove. This is my pile of decluttered items. So yeah, a couple of electronics, quite a few pairs of shoes, quite a few pieces of clothing, and some home decor items. And I think that once this is gone, as well as all the perfumes that I'm gonna be posting, I think I'm gonna feel a lot better. <laughs> 
So yeah, that is about it. And then we also have um, this thing over here that I'm just gonna be thinking about and we'll give it some time and see, see what we think. And it's time for me to go relax, have a cup of tea, edit this video. And that's about all I have to say for today. <laughs> So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed. And if you haven't already, do head on over and follow me on Instagram. I would love to see you guys there. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.